So hi, hello and welcome. Microbe Hunter here. This here is the Euromix uh, BioBlue microscope. It's an educational microscope. Uh, and uh, in this video today, I'd like uh, to show you a little bit of why this microscope is a very good educational microscope, especially if you want to use it in schools, but maybe it's also suitable for homeschooling, for example, and of course for hobby and amateur use um, um, as well. Now, we are using the BioBlue microscope in the school where I teach. And as a matter of fact, I was also involved in the purchasing decision. Um, so we have now a whole classroom of uh, this uh, particular microscope model. And uh, therefore, I know it quite well. And I would like to give you now a little bit of an overview of uh, some of its characteristics and features. So now let's uh, start unpacking the microscope. The microscope was pre-assembled, uh, but uh, there was also, of course, an instruction manual, a power supply cable, a couple of tools and a fuse, and also a matte diffusion filter, and of course, also a dust cover. I arranged everything nicely on the table, and now we are ready to go to look at the features. This microscope does come in different versions. You can also obtain a binocular or even a trinocular version. I recommend that you check the website of the company. Now, one of the first things that you notice when looking at the microscope is that it is a monocular microscope. This microscope still has all of the features that a compound microscope needs. So um, it does have a condenser, for example. A condenser is an optical system beneath the stage. And this condenser can be raised and it can be lowered. The condenser aperture diaphragm can also be opened and closed. And there's also a filter holder. Um, so essentially, there is still are enough things where students can learn on how to properly use a microscope. Um, so the microscope in that sense has not uh, is not that simple so that there is nothing to adjust um, on the microscope. The microscope also has on the side um, yeah, a mechanical stage knobs, which can be turned to position the slide. This was also very important for us because uh, we teachers will then tell the students please to look at certain parts of, of a slide and then they have to adjust it. Um, and uh, then there is also an, a, an arrow, a pointer in the eyepiece to point to certain cells. So and teachers can then more easily check this. And for this purpose, it is important that the slide can be adjusted very precisely um, because uh, efficiency during a lesson is also important um, and this uh, also speeds up uh, the observation of the samples. The microscope does come with uh, three objectives installed, a 4x, a 10x and a 40 times uh, objective, but it is possible in, to install also a fourth uh, objective. Uh, there are several choices that you have. Of course, you can install an oil immersion objective, uh, something I generally do not recommend um, in a school because uh, then students might contaminate the non-oil objectives with immersion oil, happens all the time. Um, or alternatively, you can um, insert a 60 times or a 20 times objective um, as well. Um, so there is the possibility to upgrade it a little bit, but I generally would say that uh, the three objectives are enough uh, for everyday microscopy use in, in a school. Because there's always the danger that students crash objectives into the microscope slide, um, there is also a little protective screw here on the back. And this uh, screw um, allows you to adjust the maximum height um, of the stage. And currently it's adjusted in such a way that even if you use the 40 times uh, objective and if you turn the course focus knob all the way to the top, there is no possibility for the objective to crash um, into the slide. So this is an additional protective uh, mechanism um, that uh, make sure that uh, there is no damage done to the microscopes. Being a compound microscope, uh, of course, uh, it is equipped uh, with a coarse and a fine focus knob, but uh, really there is not much uh, that I can say about these. Now the slide holder can also be easily removed by removing uh, simply two screws. Uh, there are no tools required to do that and uh, this of course makes it much easier to clean the stage. The microscope uh, also comes with uh, um, yeah, a, a built-in uh, power supply, uh, so there is a transformer built-in. This means that there is a very stable connection to um, an AC power supply. However, um, it is also possible to operate uh, the uh, microscope with batteries. Uh, this can be important uh, if there is no power supply um, at the day tables where the students sit, um, and uh, this uh, makes it also possible to use the microscope in a classroom settings. Let's say there are 20 or 30 uh, microscopes in the classroom, um, but not 20 or 30 power supplies, then of course it's still possible um, to use this microscope. The LED um, can also be adjusted uh, over here, the LED brightness. Uh, yeah, so there is uh, the main switch in the back, uh, but uh, the brightness can be adjusted here by turning a knob on, on the side here. The LED is also easily accessible, um, so should there be the unlikely necessity to exchange the LED, then this is of course um, also possible. 
Yes, now let's have a closer look at uh, the head uh, of the microscope. It can be rotated very smoothly. Uh, that's uh, also quite nice because uh, sometimes uh, two people will be using the same microscope. So the microscope will be standing between two students and uh, when one student wants to look at it, he or she just turns it over to one side and then if when the other student wants to look at it, it's uh, put over to the other side. Um, so very nice. Uh, and also the uh, eyepiece is uh, student proofed. This basically means that there is a tiny screw here uh, which um, prevents the eyepiece uh, from being taken uh, from being taken out. Yeah, so you see that the microscope is uh, specifically designed uh, to be used uh, for yeah, uh, in an educational setting, but I'm quite sure that people who want to use the microscope for hobby purposes um, as well as amateur use will also be very happy with uh, with this with this model here. I now connected uh, a mobile phone uh, to the microscope using a mobile phone adapter and I'm now basically recording uh, that uh, what you see directly through the eyepiece. This black line that you see there, that is a pointer. It's an arrow which is included in the eyepiece and of course um, it can be removed uh, if, it's, uh, if you don't like it. Now um, I'm focusing using the, of course, the fine focus knob and, and I've turned off uh, the autofocus of, of the camera. And it's important because otherwise uh, the camera's autofocus will chase um, the focus um, of the microscope. Yeah, but you see that uh, everything works uh, quite nicely and, and smoothly. Um, the slide is a plant cross section. It's a commercially prepared slide. Um, and I like to use those slides always to benchmark and to test the microscopes uh, because the cross section of uh, the slide is very thin and we therefore are able to see very well um, the clarity um, um, of the microscope's objective. I'm here now rotating the camera. Yeah, and uh, this here is uh, also a slide, a commercial, commercial slide of a flea, um, of a dog. Um, and uh, here too, you can now see the full field of a view um, at a low magnification. Um, but of course, I wanted to zoom in a little bit more. Uh, here, this is now at the next higher magnification. And then um, I also used um, a digital zoom uh, to get uh, an image that fills uh, the complete uh, screen. And uh, we can see over here that uh, the image quality is indeed uh, very nice. Yeah, I think uh, this uh, black arrow, the pointer, that is something that I might want to get removed, um, especially if I want to take some pictures. Now, if you're interested in finding a lot, out a little bit more about uh, this uh, particular microscope, you, of course, you can visit uh, the website of the company. However, there is also a uh, partner for North America called Globe Scientific. Uh, I provided the links uh, below in the description and I uh, wish you all the best now. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye bye. <music>